tutorial I'll be showing you how to create this uh, galaxy um, text effect and this is based off of a Photoshop tutorial sorry if you guys don't like the um, fact that I, a lot of my tutorials lately have been Photoshop tutorials that I've converted to GIMP tutorials um, I just really haven't had any really good ideas lately um, so link in the description to the original Photoshop tutorial if you'd like to see that um, so go ahead and open up a new image and the background image I'm using um, you can find it in the link in the description you can uh, get that there go ahead and grab your so after you have your new image um, you don't have to use this background you can use whatever background you want um, get your text tool which is the giant A button um, and I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get the font that I'm using and then just type in whatever you want and now get your perspective tool um, and click once on the layer now um, I'm going to be moving this square in the upper left hand corner over a little like that and I'm going to do the same with the one on the right and try to make it so that the top line this line right here is straight so as you can tell it's completely straight then click transform uh, that just gives us um, some nice perspective, I guess. Um, you can always adjust it a little more. Now what we're going to do is create that kind of 3D effect. So what we're going to be doing is stacking these layers. Um, we're going to be making multiple layers to achieve this effect. So in your layers dialog, and if you don't have this, go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, uh, Layers. Or just press Control L. So what you need to do is just make sure you're on that text layer or um, on the layer with your text on it. Um, and now in your layers dialog, there should be this button where it looks like there's two pictures stacked on each other. Press that once and that should create a duplicated layer. Now get your move tool, which um, the icon is the uh, four arrows, the arrows pointing in the four different directions. Then once you have the move tool, click once on that layer, on the duplicate layer, and uh, using the down arrow key, press twice. Um, about twice should work. Now just look up, um, now if I do it three times, it doesn't look quite right. If you can tell right here in the S part, there's this kind of unevenness. So I'm just going to move it down twice. Because as you can tell, the more we move it down, the more it doesn't really look 3D-ish. So I'm going to move it down twice. And then just keep doing this until you have achieved a pretty good 3D effect. So I'm just going to duplicate again. Move it down. And you can duplicate it, duplicate it however many times you want. I'm just going to, uh, I just duplicated it 10 times. Now go back in your layers dialog and hide the background layer and hide the original text layer. And the way you can tell which one is the original text layer is by, uh, as you can tell, all the duplicated, duplicated layers have a number next to them, so just hide the one without, hide those two layers, the original text layer and the background layer. Then go to Image, Merge Visible Layers, then Merge. Then you can unhide, you can, uh, again, to hide the layers, just press this little eye, eye icon. Um, now move the original text layer above um, the duplicated ones. Now uh, right click on the uh, duplicated layers and select alpha to selection. Now make a new layer and you can do that by going to layer new layer or by pressing the page icon in your layers dialog. Now grab your gradient tool make sure your gradient is on foreground to background and the colors I am using um, are foreground color is 8084A or 8084A uh, you can just pause the video and put that in if you want to use the same colors as me. Uh, I'm just using this kind of bluish gray color. And then for the background color, I'm using 4C5057. And then just take the gradient and stroke down. Then you can select none. And actually, uh, don't select none. Keep that selection. So at this time, go to select, grow. Row selection by about two, or depending on the size of your image, you might need to make this bigger or smaller. You can go ahead and delete the original text layer, but make a new layer and move it under the grayish uh, 3D part. Get your bucket fill tool, set your uh, foreground color as white, 
and just click once and that fills in that selection. Then you can select none. Now merge the gray 3D part with the white outline. And then what you need to do is right click on the original text layer and select the alpha to selection. Now go back down to the uh, white outline and gray 3D part layer. So keeping that selection and then going to the uh, gray layer. I'm just gonna call that the gray layer. Then just press the delete button and then go and then go back to the original text layer. Sorry, this is a little confusing. Then go to select, shrink, shrink the selection by around two or depending on size of your image, you can adjust this. And then press the delete button. So now as you can tell, we can see through that part of our image. Now keeping that selection, make a new layer on top of everything. Get your rectangular select tool. Make sure the mode is on subtract and you can do that by pressing this little icon, the third icon under the mode thing. And just um, make a selection around that area, the bottom part of your text. Then grab the blend tool and get the uh, gradient FG to transparent. Make sure foreground color is on white. And then just stroke down and go select none. And now you can adjust the opacity of the gloss a little. Make another new layer. On top of everything else, get your paintbrush tool. And the brush is circle one. And now to make it look a little more 3D-ish, um, around the areas where it looks like it would have these kind of lines right here, like this, you can go ahead and draw those in. So let's say like right here. Um, so you can go ahead and do that to make it, as you can tell uh, when I did the galaxy text, I did that right around there. So that gives it a more 3D look. Um, so I hope this was a good tutorial and be sure to, now um, you're probably, I'm going to be making a YouTube background tutorial soon. So for the new beta channels. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I'll make a Photoshop version and a GIMP version.